Um, um, I'm getting ready for India. Um, wait, I gotta do, uh, I gotta go full my, I can't, oh, hey, Instagram, it's me, right here. T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's the morning. I don't even know what time it is. It's early. Sun is coming up. Well, the sun is up now. You know what I mean? I, I, wake, I wake up in blue light. And I did my, my wash and everything like that. And now I'm talking to you. Hey, listen. Uh, I, I, because the, the, the U.S. elections is on Tuesday, I sort of suspended my, you know, on Mondays I talk about myself. Tuesdays I talk about U.S. US stuff. Wednesday I talk about world stuff. Thursday I talk about audio drama. Fridays, like today, I sort of do a, like what, what I missed during the week or some sort of like that. Saturdays, whatever comes to mind. Sundays, it's like I usually try to read something and then, you know, blah, blah. Uh, and then, you know, then we're back to Monday with me day, you know, me day, right? Uh, but I sort of really, I don't want to say suspended. I'm trying to keep to that outline, right? Uh, so it's Friday. So, but I wanted to say something. Here's the thing. Whew, man. I hope you're having big fun in the States. <laughs> the, the things have changed since the last election cycle. And the cycles before that and the cycle before that. It's like, let me just put it this way. Uh, I was a part of a, of a, uh, a community radio, uh, um, whatever, called the a World Association of Community Broadcasters. Right? And I started with them and it, was, it must have been uh, this is before I became Austria, maybe in, in late 80s, whenever, when they had the first one, then four years later they had another one, and I was part of that, the four years later, so every, up until the, the 2000s, up until whatever, and um, what was interesting, because every four years, you know, the, the technology would change in such a way that, you know, you, you'd approach it differently, you, you, the, the, the conference would be different, you know, if you have every four, four, every four years, you know. So it's the same way I'm seeing with election. Every four years, things change radically. Now, people are still using old formulas to do whatever they think they're doing. I don't know what they think they're doing. But, but the problem is the people, the, the, it's like the regular, it's the, the, the older people the, the, um, stay on. And, they, and they, they were groomed in a certain you know, back when kind of thing. They haven't kept up with, the, um, with the, what's, what's been going on, you see? Uh, the way, only way I can say this is like, uh, like say for instance, I'm not picking on uh, 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 the Harris woman, right? But you know, if 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 if, if, Cheney, if the Cheneys, right, are joining your campaign and they were staunch Republicans and they didn't want to do that, then what does that mean? I don't know what that means. That means their their ideas. They they want to keep their ideas in these. I won't say zeitgeist, but I don't even know what that means. They don't. They want to keep their ideas going, right? And their ideas really came from uh, what I call, what we call a think tanks. It's early morning. I always have a, whatever, early morning. Um, so excuse me. And uh, so, so, so I guess what I want to talk about today is think tanks. Now, uh, a lot of, uh, my first acknowledgement, not think tank, but my first acknowledgement of, of, of groupings, they call them groupings, right, for the purpose of, of study and whatever have you, was actually I was a part of a, if you want to put it that way, think tank at Bronx Community College in New York, the first, you know, after I got out of high school, Bronx Community College. And uh, what we would do is, uh, uh, we, we, we were the think tank, I don't even know what we call it, we didn't call ourselves, for the, for the, the, the bigger group uh, called Simba. It was a, a student group, right? And, uh, you know, and our think tank is like, uh, I'm gonna say guys and gals. It was three guys, three gals, and then there was two two guys that that uh, the, the Shepherd brothers, Bobby and Billy Shepherd, who changed their names. They went into media. Anyway, uh, filmmaking was like that. Uh, then, you know, uh, like the Eyes on the Prize. They filmed a lot of that. They, they're cinematographers, camera people. I don't worry about that part. Anyway, but they had been to Vietnam. Remember, this is like 1968. So they had been to Vietnam early, it's like 64, 65, somewhere around there, and served and whatever like that. So the stuff that they were uh, guiding us through, they, they tell us about what was happening in Vietnam for real from the ground, right? And our think tank, we would be reading books. Now, you know, we, you know, we, we got the little 
black book, you know, we got the little red book, you know, we got, you know, uh, uh, Fanon and, and Nkrumah, you know, well, Nkrumah's a little black book, uh, you know, we, we were reading, you know, that, and that's when I was into my element, I, I, man, we read it, and then we discussed the things, and the revolutionary strategy, and all the rest of that stuff, right, and then we would uh, bring our findings to the larger group, Simba, right, and this was, we were, let me tell you, I was, I was, I was just, I was having a good time. It's a think tank, because, and, but of course we were students, so we weren't getting paid enough like that. We were doing out the pure love of it all. But the same, around about the same time, you had think tanks like, I guess, I don't know if Heritage Foundation had started already, but you have other groupings, the, the, I don't know if the bookings, anyway, you have these other, you have other kind of configurations. I don't know if they call them, yeah, they were think tanks. But the difference between our think tank and their think tank, their think tank, their think tank, the Rand Corporation, for instance, which I ran into one of their things when I when I well, when I got out of the service and I went to uh, uh, Livingston College, the Rand Corporation. They said, "Ooh, that's no good. You know, let us get rid of that college." So they destroyed Livingston College, which was a very amazing initiative. Anyway, back to the point. But the difference is that they get paid. Somebody sponsored their think tank. So can you imagine, like, we're students, we got to go to class, but we, you know, are reading and stuff like that. And then every once, you know, we're always together like that. But they were getting paid. They have whatever have you. They get all the supplies them. But you have to pay the piper. So they were getting paid for, you know, by whoever, right? But that was their job. And what's more interesting, if you're a student, the administration, all they have to do, if you cause them problems, they just have to try to lay in a cut and wait for you to graduate. <laughs> you know? Oh, they're not going to be here long. With their, their rabble rousers, the leaders, they'll be, they'll be going, they're going to whatever they're going to, right? So that was what was happening. But uh, I think that before think tanks, you would have organizations like, uh, you know, FBI, CIA, whatever you have. And of course, again, they're being, being paid. By the, by the government or the government agencies, but uh, but 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 again, depending on who their leader was, let's say let's let's be the obvious like Jed Kahuva, right? He has his agenda, and he's getting paid for his agenda. You know, you know, and, and, and so what happens is they can uh, they can they're in there for the long haul. They can put things into place if something don't work out now. They can even wait four, five, six years and still have that same agenda and keep on moving on that agenda. Now. I bring all this up to say one of the things that was happening, I grew up in a cadet corps, right? Now, cadet corps, you know, where we, we do drills. It's paramilitary organization, so you're disciplined. It's community-driven uh, because, uh, uh, everybody, you know, you, you have your uniform. You, we, we have you know, your drum and bugle corps. You have, you know, your officers. You know, can you imagine? Can you imagine? You know, we get the toolbox hats, you know, uniform. We have the, you know, certain people like if a certain officer rank, you have the double belt kind of you know, we have one step but like that look good and you have sabers you know you have a saber and <laughs> could you imagine now if a bunch of black people were running or black men were running around we had women in it too but no well, black men would run around with sabers think about that but what happened with the organization the FBI came after well the FBI back then we're talking about now we're talking about I, I went back uh, this is before the think tank I was talking about um, so between, um, I say 1962, say late 50s, 62, when they got rid of the gangs, it was a full out assault on the black community and black men specifically. So they, they, they went after the cadet corps. There was a lot of drum and bugle corps, or, or like it survived to a certain way with the uh, what do you call those people? Uh, the HBCUs. You know, when you have the the, the the band, everybody comes to the band. They don't care about the football game. Well, that's their. If you can imagine that, but you had real disciplined people, well, well I guess that you to be in a band, you're, you're disciplined. But your, your objective is not to entertain. Your objective is to, you know, we were re John Henry Clark would come by the cadet all the time and, and, and teach stuff. Uh, you know, uh, he was raised by, by mainly men. So, uh, and, and a lot of us from the projects, there was no man in the house, but this was, but we had men surrounded. It was like the second family. So as they destroyed the family, so you still, so I was raised, I was reared, though I didn't, not in my household, but in my neighborhood, men all around. And, 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 and analysis of what, of what was happening in the streets. For instance, the first, the first book 
that I read, uh, I read a lot of books before that, but the first book that I really, uh, uh, I read in one sitting, like one night, was uh, Man, Child, and Pro Promised Land. I think the author's name is Claude, uh, Claude Brown. And this is, it's like 64, 60, I don't know what it's like that. I mean, but what it was is that book spoke to me. It came from my thing, Man, Child, and the Promised Land. Look, it's a great book. Well, if I remember. But, you know, it spoke to me so I could, I, I'm, not, I'm riveted to this book just all night long. I'm up all night reading this book. A lot of people have the same experience with uh, uh, Autobiography of Malcolm X. I read that too, not, not in one sitting. But it didn't move me as much as Man, Child, and the Promised Land because it talked about, you know, my circumstance. Let me get back to the think tanks. So if you have the time to read and do the think tank, and then you could put the action of the think tank into, into uh, the, what you learned into, into action because you had you had the neighborhood to deal with. So so obviously the FBI or whoever CIA, they had to destroy that thing. So first you get rid of the cut core, then you get rid of they, they You realize the FBI when they came about in the '60s, the whole co and tell program. Not only were they killing young 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 purported leaders, regular leaders, young leaders. Uh, Kill them before they can mature, before they can spread their, you know, mature. But they also attack little, no, little be known, they attack the bookstores. Bookstores. Hmm. So they, they tried to take away your, 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 your ability to think, to process. Uh, by that time, you know, the, the men, they were locking people up. You know, da, da, da. They were showing you an example, you don't be no revolutionary, else you're going to get done. So you're, you're, you're culling, you know, you're culling the the, 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 I guess what they perceive is the, the enemies of the state, whatever. So that had been happening. Now in this day and age, uh, since you got rid of all that, there's no families left. There's no men in the neighborhood. They're all in the jail. Da, 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 da. I'm curious to see what's going, what's going, what's what's happening, because uh, when you and uh, well, I'm just curious to see what's happening, because I insist. See, you never give up the fight. We who believe in freedom cannot rest. Ella Josephine Baker, by the way. Uh, I'm curious to see how this plays out because because the, the black people I hang out with, not we don't. We we believe in freedom and we will not rest. Aluta continua, you know. There's and Pac is going up, the, the, uh, up there. What's happening? The the uh, the. Um, uh, up there with uh, Burkina Faso and, and Mali and, and Niger, Niger. Um, you know, they're examples. And and I think that we're, we're sort of global now, you know. I'm sitting here in Africa and what I'm doing here is basically I'm doing what, I'm doing what I was taught, what I, what I grew up with, which, which is, here we go, which is communalism. Let me give you that term, communalism. I know you're all into Marxism and uh, capitalism and I don't know, whatever else you're, whatever you're into, but there's a thing called communalism. Communalism is just that whatever resources we have in the community, we share. Nobody's really above everybody else. But if you grew up, and I'm talking in the States, well, if you grew up in a system where they say, oh, you got to be a capitalist, you got to be the top of the, the top of the heap, and then you, you lord it over everybody, that's not, ah. So let me not wrap this up sort of. So one of the things I've been uh, coming at, oh, who's that? Somebody said, hey, Kim, I, I don't know what to call you, darling. I'm just going to call you Kim, C-E-M. It's Kim 3. Kim 3, actually, this is 3. It, hey, baby, how you doing? Oh, sorry. You all say, well, you talk, you're, look, look how you're talking to this woman here like that. Oh, she seems to be of my same generation. And let me tell you, uh, baby, it just come. it's like it was like a jazz term, you know, you, you like that, and and if I say darling, that's the whole my 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 my, my uh, uh, Marvin Gaye thing. So it's a it's a generational thing. So you all don't have to worry about. It. Don't don't anyway. So the, so, so 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 what am I saying? So what I, what I'm what, I, what I'm realizing here, like for instance, let me just I'm gonna wrap it up because I might be giving I might be giving I might have an, a talk on Tuesday here in in Dimbaza. I'm not sure, but I'm preparing for it just in case. This, I've been trying to do this lecture, this talk, for a long time, for like at least six or seven years. It's called, uh, and, and, and the title is, You've Been Talking to the Wrong Americans. You've Been Listening to the Wrong Americans. I'm talking about me. Okay, back to the point. Now, you know, there's this whole thing, as I'm talking about a South African context, where 
they talk about uh, the, 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 I guess it's the EFF pushed it, uh, economic freedom fighter. They pushed it first. Well, we, we got to have our land back. Everybody said, we got to have the land back. We, you know, we want uh, the, the land. Okay, fine. And then that sort of spilled over a little bit to the ANC, and they sort of tried to say that in African National Congress. But, that, but this last election, they let the DA in, the Democratic Alliance, which is basically white people. I, I got to say it that way. I'm sorry. You know, they're, they're not the autochthonous people to the area. Let me put it that way. And, uh, they have their agenda, so 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 they're infused. So do you think they, and, and a lot of them are the landowners, because in, in South Africa, as unbeknownst to people, I was talking to this. Ah oh man, I know I jump around, but I, let me. Get, I got to give you this this thing. We were walk back. We had to get gas, and then you know, I had to. I, I the, the the kids were well, the kids, the young men, and we had the wheelbarrow. And they was putting the gas. So we was walking, and a lot of times, you know. There's a lot of drinking going on in uh, South Africa, and so one of the junks who knows me, whatever. And I was wearing my Ogun hat, you know, with the, with, with the red star, and I guess it was on the black side. With the, so he's going there. I look to continue on because you know they respect the Communist Party, whatever, uh, communism, right? Like that. And I'm going, yeah, brother. Da, 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 da. But he was a little, drunk. and I know when they approach me, I know, and everybody knows by now because I've been here, living here long enough. You don't ask me for stuff because. I ain't gonna give you diddly. You know, all I got is hard time and bubble gum. I'm fresh out of bubble gums. Okay, that's a that's a black uh, that's the black American uh, you know uh, theater saying. It comes from uh, what was it? Five on the Black Hand Side. One of those uh, plays back then. Anyway, so he's um, so we're talking, you know, and he's saying this, and they give me the same thing, you know, Madiba. I said, no, don't give me no Madiba, please. You know, you know, uh, I'm not. You know, I said, no, I'm. I, I, Make Lisa Roberts Tabukwe is my guy, you know, or Chris Hani, those are my guys. Everybody else, they're inconsequential to me. <laughs> that's the kind of, that's the kind of, that's the kind of guy I am, you know. So finally, he finally asked, well, can I have two rand for a cigarette? I said, what's the matter with you? You, We just talk revolution, you know, Luther Continua and all the rest of that stuff. And you're going to ask me for money for a cigarette? You know that cigarette is made, is it African? Is it made by African tobacco? Is it made by Africans? Did that? No, you both smoking that cigarette and you send that, 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 that money, my, part of my two rand, is going to wherever those cigarettes, to some place, it's not in Africa. Whoa. And he tried to, he's a little tipsy, so he kept on trying to, it don't work with me. And meanwhile, because I'm young, I'm not young, I talk loud. Yeah, and everybody knows who I am, like that. So the young people walking by, they're smiling because they say, "Oh boy, that there's the brother again. He's going to be he's laying this guy out." They, they know, don't bother me with this because I'm not a tourist. Don't bother me. With, we've been free. We want. I said, you know, you, you you didn't win anything. You have nothing. You you, you had an armistice. <laughs> That's what it is. A, a ceasefire. And as you cease the fire, the, the English got your money. And the, and the boys got your land, and they gave you the politics and the singing and dancing. And and now you everybody's wondering what's going on, you know? I said, what you need to do, I said, uh, is, and, 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 well, yeah, I did, I did, I think I told this. Instead of trying to get, well, you, you try to get the land back, you, you can do that. But you're, before you get that, you got, they, they put a buffer class in place. So you gotta, you gotta make that buffer class give up their wealth and spread that wealth so we become a communal situation. Because they're, they're thoroughly ensconced with this, you know, entrepreneur, uh, uh, I can make it, I'm gonna pull myself, whatever. Uh, we're, we're da, 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 da. And that's getting in the way of the community rising. So if you wanna know why South Africa, and not only South Africa, but a lot of places on the planet are the way, are the way they are, it's because basically, they went for the okie doke. They became capitalists. They believe in that system. Yeah, you you rise to the top through your own hard work and da 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 da. And f forget about uh, uh, capturing the government, right? And then changing laws to your to your to your bidding, right? I'll get into that some other time. But but you know, well, let me say there's a couple of uh, times when I said, oh, the states, man, y'all don't understand when they had the Enron thing. And everything that happened in Enron was against the law, but what happened a few years later, those people got people got into power. They changed the law, so everything they were doing that was illegal are now legal. That's how it's it's a, it's, it's a nation of laws, and the same thing happens a lot of places. They they depart, they depend on lawyers and stuff like that, and to change the law. And there's no 
I don't want to say codes, but there's no uh, uh, there's no communalism because you 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 can't commune to lack of a better term commune you can't commune with your enemy you know it's a fight to you it's a fight to you beat them to submission and what are you submitting to the community so one of the biggest thing I'm doing here is uh and you know we're, we're growing a bunch of stuff and we got some strawberries over there we got some juniper berries over there we got rosemary over here we got garlic over there I, i'm not too into this corn thing i'm gonna try to get him to, to do some millet you know like that or we got spinach we got but well, you know we're growing stuff we're growing a certain way to be an example plus you know we're organizing so it's a lot of stuff happening i know i've been meandering but it's friday i'm supposed to meander i'm supposed to pull everything together like on friday little girl going to school so Friday she's going to school yeah, and that's the other thing when you wake up in the morning you know go out there I did the farmers over there I greeted him I call him the farmer right next door he's going a bunch of that cabbage right there spinach right there like that so we're trying to get the community a little plus to keep on growing their own stuff because as you know as you may man I know this be a subject for another day is that if you read the ingredients and stuff you understand they ought it's no longer pure those ingredients are designed to kill you. Even the clothes that you wear, the stuff they put on the fabric is a time designed to do harm to you. Oh, it's all, look, I don't know what, uh, uh, the, the Billy the Gates and all those people that were those eugenics people, whatever it is, they are basically trying to, to call the planet. No, there's too many people on the planet. No, you. <laughs> anyway, you get what I'm saying. I've been talking way too long, so I got to leave right now, so after have well, I have to leave right now. Anybody else come in? No. Oh, Carolyn. She wants me to call her Carolyn. Okay, baby, but I'd like to call you Chem 3. But Carolyn, okay, Carolyn. It's a good name. Carolyn with a C. Okay, I'll, I'll start saying Carolyn, if I remember. Because I'm an old man. It's nothing to actually have. <laughs> I have good cognitive, whatever have you. Okay, so Carolyn's been listening to me the whole time. Uh, uh, um, I don't do these comments. As you know, I don't ask people to like share nothing I don't forget that stuff right I don't even tell people when I'm coming on like that I repost it on my on my uh, my YouTube again I don't ask for nothing if this if this resonates with you it's designed to get you to think and for you to be the researcher that you are in other words you share it with others oh by the way Carolyn um, of course I didn't make a mistake so you got to give me a report on uh, what happened I guess I could find out uh, what happened with uh, uh, the uh, uh, ADOS, uh, American Descendants of, of Slavery, uh, Slavery the Institution, that is, uh, what, what, what was happening with that. Uh, so that's it. Let me go. Uh, thanks, Carolyn, Chem 3, for, uh, for hanging out. You, you're, you're what's called, I guess the, the B1 Brigade was there. You're a loyal whatever. That's why I don't ask nobody for no money. But for you to take your time, as Mr. Neela Fuller would say, all we have is time and energy. For you to take your time and invest in listening me rant, and as you know, I'm all disconnected it's a, for a reason, because I want people to do their own research. Any little nugget that you get, you can do your own research and then see what happens, okay? Okay, uh, tomorrow is a Saturday. Who knows when we talk about tomorrow? I might go back to <laughs> the American Relax. I don't know, if you're in the States, if you're not having the time of your life, if you take this too seriously, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, by the way, um, Tavis Smiley, who warned us about, or who, who, who took Barack Obama to task, in the, and he has a, I guess the radio program that comes on five days a week. He's being uh, interviewed by Brianna Joy Gray with the Bad Faith podcast. So I would suggest you, you know, uh, uh, check out their com I'm just in the middle of it right now. I haven't, you know, I haven't gone out of things. But he, Tavis, I, I always like Tavis, you know. Uh, so, yeah, you know. Because I ran into him when I ran into him, but when he was on the Tom Joyner Morning Show, the they jettisoned from Tom Joyner Tom Joyner Morning Show because, you know, those Negro peons, the man, we got so many Negro peons. You know, the, the, what's a Negro peon? That's like a uh, what's that? What's that comedian that put this? The, 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 the people that shill for other for, for everything but their own interests. Let's put it that way. People have fear. People are bought and paid for. Those are Negro peons. In Africa, we call them Afro peons. Actually, Afro peons. Uh, uh, what's the name of the city college? I'm not going to mention names because I don't want people to get whatever. He, that's where I first learned the name. Yeah, uh, Afropeans, like, like peon, you know. Uh, you do the you, you or Europeans, short for Europeans. So you, 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 you want to be a, a, 
a Negro that's really a, 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 a European or an African that's really a European. So, so why I want to insult people. I don't call them no regular things, you know, I, I call them Afropeans or Negropeans. Why? Because I as an intellectual and I, I'm, I'm, I'm original. So should you be. And when you need to have your own original terms, your own original thoughts, you can get it from a think tank. Start your own think tank. Okay, talk to you later.